name is Ebony Iman Dallas. The title of the show is Women in War Zones. I'm an artist, a designer, and a community activist. When I create artwork, a lot of times it has to do with a story or a situation that has, you know, just piqued my interest and I feel like I have to say something about so. dots around her around her head represents one of the women. Uh, this piece is of Lori Clarenbeck. She is um, a local breast cancer survivor. Um, she's also extremely brave and an amazing woman. She um, posed a few years ago for a photographer named Gay Paisley, and it's titled 65 Roses because her daughter, um, her daughter Jody, had cystic fibrosis, and so she grew up with this very painful um, disease and it's called 65 roses because as a child Jody had a hard time saying cystic fibrosis and so they called it 65 roses I have a hard time saying it but um, so there's 65 roses in this painting it's in her jewelry um, her necklace her earrings as well as the brooch on the dress mostly I focus on people because people interest me I tried landscapes, didn't work, um, but um, even if it's a person in their face, I focus on the shadows and the contours of, of their face and how it connects with other parts of their face. So there's a lot of movement in my artwork, whether it's the wings or the clothing, it's about how, how each part connects with the part that's next to it. And then ultimately when you back away from the painting, you can see that it just creates an entire form. This piece is titled 13 Queens and it's about the, um, the 13 women who came forward during the, um, to testify against former officer Daniel Holtzclaw. My process is Usually I'm watching the news and I see something bad that's happened or I know someone that's gone through a situation um, that has just stuck with me and I just can't, I may not have the words for it. Every now and then I'll write poetry that kind of helps me to get my thoughts together in one place. So I wrote a poem and it's just kind of describing the internal battle and the internal turmoil that a woman has, you know, this particular woman, you know, she has a silhouette so she could be anybody, but um, it describes her particular, her particular battle, internal battle, but then also her decision to heal. But I find painting is another medium to where I can kind of get my feelings out in, in a way that, you know, that can be shared. Um, so I think it first starts with, with a situation that I just can't shake. With the Malala piece, um, you know, after hearing more and more about her story, I searched the internet, you know, tried to find images that, that spoke or that I could sort of, you know, change in a way. And I found this amazing picture of her in the hospital right after, you know, after she was shot. And her eye was black and she was reading a book. So it was almost like in your face. Yeah, I might be in the hospital. Yes, I may be in bad shape right now, but you're not gonna stop me. And I thought that image was so powerful that I, you know, so that's what inspired um, this piece. My signature is a combination of my initials that comes together as a heart. So it's um, the E, the I, and the D. And it just, you know, each of, each of my initials represents a part of me. So my mom, um, my adoptive father, and my biological father. So the Ebony, I feel like that name came from my mother. Um, Iman is a Somali name, and my dad grew up with the model in Somalia, and so that's how I got my middle name, and Dallas is um, my, my adoptive father, so. Kind of comes together to make who I am, all these experiences here and everywhere else. <laughs>